so before we start this one as always please give a like and a sub if you appreciate the content if you learned something or if you just like all the amazing uh, wallpapers of Rin but this will be just a really quick explanation on how to get Bluetooth audio working on Arch Linux now uh, if you just like to go by the uh, command line here if we do Bluetooth CTL right uh, after just installing all of the required Bluetooth uh, packages and you connect and pair and trust your speaker you will see that it's connected right but uh, in fact it um, wait, how do, what's the command to exit this okay anyway you will see that uh, audio does not work by default and over here uh, sorry wrong tag on our device listings we will not by default see our audio speaker now that's because we need to um, configure some extra stuff just before we get there now it's very easy we just need to go back to our terminal Let's just clear this out what we have to do is first install this package here pulse audio Bluetooth and I would also recommend installing PA VU control you can switch a lot of stuff over the command line but I would do it over PA VU control just because you can see a lot of stuff if we were to type our passwords and we'll see that these two packages don't really take much I already installed them so I will not continue with this now after you've done that what you want to do is you want to kill pulse audio and restart it don't worry when you run this it will re-trigger itself I guess the guys that wrote pulse audio had a lot of issues um, with startup and things like that so they kind of made it auto start itself even after it's been killed I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but that's just my assumption. Just just from being in the IT world, I've seen things happen like this where it's just like you try to make it perfect so in any situation <laughs> something comes back. But I'm not too sure on that, that's just my opinion. But anyway, once we've done that, let's navigate over to um, a YouTube page here. And I'll just play one of my videos here. Let me just mute that. Now if we come back here, all right. When you're here in PAVU control, this is PAVU control. Let's just kill it and uh, start again from the beginning. Okay, we see that we have our recording devices, playback, output, input, configuration. Under here, once you started your stream, I'm not too sure why it, is not detecting my oh I know why because I muted the output probably so let's put it a little we have to have a little bit of audio just to yeah there we go okay but let's mute it just so that we don't have that background noise just to quickly explain on here we will have our output and you will see your speaker here once you've done everything installed the Bluetooth package and restarted pulse audio you will see that your speaker is listed under here and to output it on your speaker you just select it and you should unmute it and I won't just because I don't want my Bluetooth speaker to you know output but also some interesting thing if you go uh, under configuration here this is quite neat you have different profile options and for me and my speaker I have these two and I found that the hands-free one is awful I have no idea what it is it just it sounds terrible and I'm quite surprised and on the codec here I guess you could specify the bitrate I'm not too sure but I, I'm assuming the higher the number the higher the quality um, and I just put the highest one just for kind of for no reason I don't really need it I'm not really that obsessed with audio but 
you know, why not? Anywho, uh, that's pretty much it for setting up Bluetooth audio on Arch Linux. And this will be useful if you're doing a ver uh, very minimal installation, because I'm assuming if you're on uh, a non-minimal system, a lot of these packages will come pre-installed, pre-configured, and you will not have these issues. But obviously for me here, um, I did not have this because I did a minimal install. And yeah, you can mess around in the terminal and stuff, but um, this gives you a, an interface. And I think that if you're, you know, booting up your PC, letting it go to sleep, not really touching this too much, I think it's okay to just do it through the interface here, like this, occasionally. But uh, but yeah, if you appreciate the content, if you like the Rin wallpapers, the fat fluffy red hamster. Please give a like and a sub, and I really hope that you found this video useful.